confession. I haven't really filmed much this winter. Not for lack of time, just sheer laziness. Sorry. But there is some stuff to show you, so I'll take you around the garden today and show you what's been going on. This is my first attempt at pruning a rose. I have no idea if it looks okay. I heard they like being butchered, so I just tried to prune the middle. It's entirely possible that I haven't printed enough or I pruned it too much. I guess only spring will tell. So, um, there's that. So I had a whole lot of soil left over from another endeavor from a couple of months ago. And I was running out of room in my vegetable bed, so I decided to make use of all of my pots and line them all up on the wall behind you that you can see. Let's have a look at what's in there. The vegetable garden itself has behaved quite differently to how I thought it would. I expected the tomatoes and the basil, the summer plants, to die off, but they haven't really done that. And some research on the internet tells me that a bit of rainfall in autumn that you saw in the last video is why everything is still going on as it is. Uh, so for the purposes of an experiment, I thought I'd just let it go. Um, and it's still really going strong. On top of leaving the summer plants where they were, I've also tried putting in some winter plants, kale, Brussels sprouts, and a couple of broccolini. Mostly though, this season I just spread some green manure and left it to see what grew and what didn't. Planted some carrots, but they look like they're growing pretty slowly. Over here is some chamomile that I planted as an experiment. It seems to be doing okay, but it's not like going crazy. There's still quite a significant amount of tomato plant mass here, and I know most of it is leggy green stuff. But if you look closely, there are actually some flowers and some fruit on here. So I've just decided to let it go and see what happens. I wonder if it might just continue all the way through winter into spring and not even take it out at all. Where I've cut back some of the summer plants, nasturtiums have really taken over. I've let them go as they've been a pretty good ground cover and protected from drying out. But they're almost like a weed here now. Here's me old Brussels. It's actually done really well. It's huge. And if you look a bit closer, you can see the Brussels sprouts growing on the stem. And if you look a little closer, you can see some slug trails, but they're only really eating the leaves and they're not really causing too much trouble, so I've let them be for now. My kale's done pretty well. Um, it's not suffered too much from cabbages or aphids. They're, they're a little bit curly and there's one leaf there you can see which has been eaten a little bit. But one leaf out of about 30 is not a bad rate at all, so I've just let them go. The cabbage is still here too, by the way. Um, it's just hidden amongst all of the plants. It's still here, really slow. It doesn't look very cabbagey right now, but I guess only time can tell. I do know that they're slow growing. These two. This lime and this lemon I have been trying to look after them for a little while now and they're really struggling. Um, they're not really growing much. Um, and if I recall correctly, these two are supposed to be fruiting. Maybe not the limes, but definitely the lemons are supposed to be fruiting in winter and they just haven't really thrived. If you look a bit closer on them, you can see they have some yellowing and some leaf curl. Um, but they just have failure to thrive syndrome, I think. I've had a go taking care of them with some mineral salts the what's it called the rock fertilizer um, I've also been regularly watering them with worm tea making sure they're not too wet um, but they're just not going so well so I'm thinking of doing something a little more artistic with these later and perhaps replacing the plants in the pots with something a little bit more robust if there's anything that looks really obvious about them that I can fix let me know preparing for our last rental inspection I kind of unearthed this this little patch here near where the fence is, you can see the concrete's all broken and grass is growing through. Considering it's a west-facing fence, 
it's actually perfect to try trellising stuff up. So watch this space. Today we're going to turn the patch of ground behind me into a mini garden bin. So the garden is now finished. We're not only going to put in a couple of raspberry canes in to see how they go, uh, and the rest will be reserved for some summer and spring planting, which I'm very excited about. So as you will see shortly, I've dug in the green manure and put some soil on top ready for spring. And one week after we've planted our small garden, We've put in some raspberries and they're coming to life. Next to the raspberry we've put in some bean climbers. step I have here is to put some sugar cane mulch down to prepare everything for spring. The green manure has been dug underneath and the mulch is on the top. So that's it for my update for this winter season. There are still some things that are uh, waiting to be harvested. My Brussels sprouts are still about four weeks away and if I get them on time and get them before the caterpillars we should have some Brussels sprouts for dinner, that'll be very exciting. A couple of weeks ago I got to pick out some radishes from those container plantings I have. A lot of them uh, had lots of leaf growth and not much root growth, but there are a couple that did really nice and have nice big juicy radish. I'll give you a, a, a pic on the inset here of what one of them looked like. They're actually one of my first actual vegetable harvests uh, in my garden since I started, which is kind of cool. I'm still surprised that the basil is going still. I'm going to let it go through summer and into next year and see how the plant behaves. It's designed to be an annual, but I want to see what happens if you push it further than its seasons, if it survives. I noticed that with my cabbages, I had two of them. When I removed the green manure from the garden and I dug it under, I noticed that one of them became completely inundated with bugs and insects. And I think it's because it was further away from the other plants and it's now on its own, um, which just goes to show how much companion planting actually helps stuff. They're really slow. I don't know if I'm actually going to make the cabbages uh, this year. I don't know whether they're meant to continue into spring or not. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to see if it develops. A little tiny head is developing on the cabbage, so I'm just going to, you know, maybe it's lagging behind a little. I'm very excited and about getting ready for spring. There's been lots of nightshade in my standing bed, uh, so I'm not going to put any more tomatoes in again this year. Um, I might give the cucumbers another go. I had a lot of trouble with them last year and I'm not sure why and I think it was because of watering. So I'm going to get give cucumbers another go and build some proper trellising to see if I can um, get them really thriving. Apart from that, I'm not sure what there is about. Maybe melons? Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be fun to try. So there's lots of possibilities. Um, I'm mostly concentrating on getting the soil ready for spring and like preparing the dormant plants to come back. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see what what's uh, what's in store for gardens in this, this spring and summer. So I hope you're getting a great yield in, in um, wherever your garden is and that you're getting out there and having a good time. And I hope you enjoy this particular update and I'll see you in the next update. See you later.